are you talking to anyone um somebody said i should do a story time about how i lost my virginity hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new i'm karenita welcome so as you guys can see i am doing a get ready slash chit chat i'm answering questions for you guys today so i hope you all are excited we're gonna get into this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel if you're new all right y'all so i went ahead and did my eyebrows already because it takes forever to do. All right, so I have the questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram and some of the questions that you asked me on my YouTube page. So I'm just gonna answer that for you guys and just talk about some topics, you know, just to keep you occupied while I do my makeup. So let's see. So I already went and primed my face with the Fenty primer. So now I'm about to go ahead and put the foundation on my face. And of course, I use Cover of X. If you want more detail on what specifically I use for my makeup, I have the link in the description down below so you guys can watch that video when I tell you each product that I use because I'm not doing it in this video. How have you guys been doing this in this situation of the coronavirus, being in quarantine? This is crazy. Like, it's weird because I am a homebody and I like being at home, but when you have to do this shit every day for a whole month, you go crazy i am going crazy y'all like i can't do this shit for another 30 days like hopefully this ends which i highly doubt which i highly doubt that it will end on april 30th but i'm gonna go crazy and then with my job now they're sending us equipment at our house so we can start working from home they're mailing us computers um headsets and all that i know the whole coronavirus and quarantine situation is getting real serious because like i said my job they're paying for our equipment i definitely feel like this is going away no time soon and yeah like the world has changed right in front of our face and we haven't even noticed it yet so it's kind of scary but what can we do All right, I got my foundation on. Let me find a question to answer for y'all real quick. Somebody asked me, what is my favorite food? So my favorite food is Italian food. I love pasta, I love pizza. I can eat that literally every day. I love it. So yeah, that's my favorite food. I'm not really, I could really eat anything, but if I had one thing to eat every day for the rest of my life, it would probably be pasta. Yeah, I think it would be pasta. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and start concealing my face. Somebody asks, do you want kids? All right, so that's a good question. Um, No. Well, <laughs> do I want kids? I'm really confused about that question right now. Like, I do want kids, I think. It's like I want kids, but I don't want to really take care of them. Like, I would want to have maybe a guy child where I can you know, get them anytime I want and bring them back to their parent anytime as well because me just being responsible for a child 24-7, I don't really think I can do that. Not at the age that I'm at right now, at least. Um, I don't know, like, and plus I don't really feel like I'm in a situation where I could really take care of a child and of course I have to have a ring on this finger before I pop up any kids anyway. But um, when I'm financially stable, Maybe I'll change my mind and when I'm married, of course. But I don't know, like kids are cute. Like I would want to do the whole, you know, dressing up, you and your kids dress alike, taking cute pictures. I don't know, I'd be having baby fever, but it's like, mm, not right now. Like right now, if I have a child, I only want it for like the cuteness. So no, maybe in the future, maybe with the right person. Let's see, what other questions did they ask? Where did you get your contacts from? Y'all are getting on my freaking nerves asking me about my contacts. Like, bro, you can find these contacts anywhere, I'm pretty sure, because I got these contacts from Walmart. So I'm pretty sure if you go to your eye doctor, they would have the same freaking color. I don't even remember I had these contacts for years. Um, I know they were like a hazel and maybe like a, a green, I don't know. Mostly hazel though, but just go to your, your eye doctor Tell them you want contacts, they have the color contacts, they have hazel, and get the hazel contacts, and there you go. Like, there's nothing so special about my contacts. They just look real on my eyes, I don't know, like, mm, I guess my eyes look made for contacts, for color, I guess, I don't know. 
All right, so somebody asked me, ooh, I kicked the camera. So somebody asked me what's my type, and lately I've been getting asked this question a lot. So I guess I'm more prepared to answer it. Um, let me see, cause I did answer this question for someone. So my type look-wise, um, he would be muscular, clean, clean nails, good hygiene, smell good, um, taller than me, has a nice smile, uh, just can, I don't know, like, I'm not really, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I say I'm not picky when it comes to looks, but I am. Just as long as I'm physically attracted to you, you have good hygiene, you have clean nails, a nice smile, you know, dress decent, not sagging your pants, showing your ass. Um, as far as like the personality wise, um, someone that's God fearing, someone that's mature, ambitious, humble, a go getter, um, someone who believes in marriage, who's good at communicating, someone who values me, a good listener, um, someone who I can feel comfortable being myself around, and also clingy because I'm clingy as hell. So I need somebody who's clingy like me so I won't annoy them. So that's kind of, a, that's a few things I look for in a person. And that's what's my type, I guess you can say. Which we all know that we won't find all those things in one person, which would be nice, but that would not happen. I just want someone really like who's really good with communication because communication is key for me in a relationship i'm big on a man like expressing his feelings letting me know what's wrong and you know just how he feel and ooh actions you have to be about your actions because a nigga could tell you anything but if he ain't doing a part about what he's saying if his actions not matching his words you need to cut that nigga off sis like hell no actions is definitely a big part because, like I said, a person can tell you anything. That's just words. But the actions, that's what it's all about. All right, what else did y'all ask me? I know um, you guys asked me on YouTube to talk about how to find a decent or a good paying job. So basically, with that, um, I mean, as long as you have a good resume. When I was younger, I paid somebody to um, do my resume for me, and that helped me with getting a good job, I guess you can say. So when applying for a job, you need to have decent clothes for your interview, especially video, face-to-face -face interviews. You need to dress professional and address a suit. Like I said, they got videos on YouTube for that. That's what I did when I first went to start looking for a decent job. I watched YouTube videos on what I needed to do. I watched videos about the company that I was applying for. Um, I went on Glassdoor, Indeed, and read the about me about the company so I can know everything that I need to know that I feel that they would ask me in an interview just so I could be prepared, so I could get the job, just to be, you know, knowledgeable about what I'm getting myself into because that's what companies look for in a person. Wanting to make sure that you did your homework when applying for a job so you know what you're getting yourself into basically and that you fit the part. I guess also when you're reading, like when you apply for a job, they tell you the about me and specifically what they're looking for. So that your resume needs to match what they have on the details specifically what they're looking for in an employee. And also you need to study that as well. So you know, you know, you already know they're telling you what they're looking for. So you need to say that in your interview when they ask you questions. Oh, tell me about yourself. Why should we hire you? Those stuff that they have on that application is what you need to say in your interview. So, I mean, it's basically just about studying to get a good paying job. And like I said, having a good resume. And if you're not good with computers or using words to make your resume, you can pay somebody. Like I said, I did that before. Then after that, I just started doing it on my own because why the hell would I keep paying somebody when I could do it myself? Those are all the keys that you need to get a good paying job. So, yeah. It's so funny because like when you be doing your makeup when you first start, you be like, what the hell? But then when you done, it just be coming out so perfect. Like, for right now, I look like I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I'm going to be fine when I'm done, though. <laughs> so someone asks, are you talking to anyone? Um, I guess you could say no. I'm not really talking to anyone. I'm single, so yeah. Next question. Someone asked me if you could live anywhere, where would it be? So my dream place to live was always New York because I always wanted to live in a loft and I love the view. I mean, who wouldn't want to live in a loft? 
you know what I'm saying, in a tall building, you see all of New York City. Like, that's just so beautiful, especially at nighttime. So, that was always my dream. I feel like it can still happen if we can go outside again. But, <laughs> yeah, that's my dream place to live at. So, New York City. And then every time I tell somebody I want to move to New York, they always like, I hate New York. It's not all that it seems. It stinks out there. It has rats that look like freaking cats and shit. But I don't know. I just have to experience it for myself. And I feel like people be in a bad area anyways when they visit New York, maybe. I don't know. So I just have to see it for myself to know if I really want to live out there. But if not New York, then probably California. So, yeah. And a lot of you guys are probably wondering how old I am. I am 25. My birthday is September 28th. I am a Libra for those of you who are wondering what's my sign. So I really, I'm really not big on like signs and stuff like that, but I don't know. One day I got bored and I just decided to start reading them and like they were really accurate. So I just kept reading more about my sign and other signs and basically what I've been reading about Libras or me like how we are fashionable you know we love looking good if somebody be like oh sierra what you wearing tonight i'd be like nothing much you know i'm just gonna dress regular and then i pop up you know like that bitch but yeah um also i'm indecisive like i can never make up my mind i can never make a decision somebody has to make it for me um what else they said about libras how we're very caring we put people before us that's accurate too um basically everything they were saying about libra is me so if you look up what they say about libras that's what it is about me so i know one of you guys asked me to talk about self-confidence how to be confident in yourself um i'm not really a confident person i don't know why people think i am um i do i am insecure um you know just like every other person <laughs> But I guess ways for you guys to be confident about yourself is just look in the mirror, look at stuff that you love about yourself, or just learn to love yourself. Just do stuff for yourself to make you feel good. You know, if it's putting on makeup, if it's doing your hair, if it's getting dressed up, do what you gotta do. Um, I would say spend less time on social media because social media makes us want to be something that we're not and that we're not going to be most of the time. So, um, yeah, I would just say spend less time on social media and spend more time just doing stuff you love and just really getting to know yourself so i guess that's what i would say and just always have something positive to say about yourself try not to think of negative things and always just speak positive about yourself so i'm still learning too so i mean i guess that's some of the advice i could give y'all on self-confidence I don't know why you guys keep asking me can I do a car tour because I literally have one you know what I'm gonna put it in the description as well so you guys can watch that because y'all really getting on my nerves asking me about a car tour and I have one on my channel like do y'all even look through my videos to see if oh let me see if she have a video that I'm looking for maybe I should do that because I have a car tour on my channel so yeah and also someone asked me what are my pet peeves um my pet peeves are a big one is i hate when people stare at me like when i'm out in public and like people just stare at you and they don't say nothing because in my mind i'm thinking that you're thinking something negative of me so i get upset and i want to confront you and i want to slap you like i get pissed when people stare at me and don't say nothing so i don't know but now that i'm older when people stare at me i just smile and wave back and then usually they'll smile and come up and speak to me and just tell me that i'm pretty or you know something like that so that's why i really learn when people stare at me is just i guess they're admiring me i don't know so that is a pet peeve so if you see me in public just come up to me and speak to me don't stare at me because it's gonna piss me off another pet peeve is i hate repeating myself um I hate when I have to ask somebody something or tell them and they'll be like, huh, and I know you heard me. That's a pet peeve. I hate when people actions don't match their words. That's a huge pet peeve to me. Like, if you tell me, oh, I'm going to do this tomorrow and tomorrow comes and you don't do it, I'm cutting you off. Like, I lost interest. I'm done. Period. That's a pet peeve. I hate when I tell people something and they don't remember. Like, if I'm talking to someone and I tell you, oh, my favorite color is pink. And a week later or a few days later, what's your favorite color? Or just anything in general, like you tell somebody something. And a few days later, they ask you about it again. And it's like, 
nigga i literally just told you a few days ago like if you're not listening if you don't remember that means you don't care right i don't know that's what goes that's what goes through my mind i feel like you don't care you're not interested because if you were you would remember what we talked about so i don't know that's just me though that's the pet peeve uh what's another pet peeve i have so many i have a huge ass list i don't know i gotta think about it let's go to the next question so someone asked me how to open up and be more friendly i'm so reserved girl i am reserved too so <laughs> you asking the wrong person but since i moved to orlando um i did change my ways i am more friendly and open so um when i moved to orlando i know a lot of you guys are wondering how i made friends so i did use the app called bumble to meet new people and um yeah that's how i made all my friends in orlando so when i met up with them you know i just decided to be more open and just go out and do things they like to do when i was out in public too um when i met new people i met their friends strangers that were out there um like i said i saw a girl staring at me so i went up to them and introduced myself greeted them we did some tiktok videos we exchanged numbers exchanged social media because like i said i am a youtuber so i do need to connect and interact with people in public and meet new people so you know i did take a step upon myself and do that to walk up to people and you know i'm usually the person people have to walk up to me and speak to me in order for me to interact so i guess i could say for you to do like what i said what i did was when i'm in public i walk up to people and you know introduce myself instead of waiting for people to make the first move with me so yeah and also if you're wondering about the app called bumble it is a good app it's not like tinder and stuff like that it's mostly more so just finding friends so um it is it has a side for business like if you want to meet people just for business specifically you can do that or if you want to look for friendships you can do that as well and it does have one for relationships i never use that one though because i'm not that desperate so yeah like i said you can use it if you're looking for business or if you're looking for friendships and like i said i did find some friends out here which i'm glad that i did use the app so yeah all right someone said uh hey let us know how you like living in florida so far how is your vision board doing how is your vision board doing so orlando is i love it out here um honestly i like orlando it's pretty cool the people are nice out here it's a lot to do <clears throat> Um, I'm just mad that it happened at a bad time when I moved out here, like, I gotta be freaking at home when I could have been outside exploring. The scenery is nice, it's very pretty. The only thing I could say that I don't like about Orlando is the traffic. People can't drive out here. I said this in another video, but traffic sucks. Like, you would probably spend an hour, an extra hour just being in traffic people can't drive they always pressing their brakes when the light is green like why are you pressing your brakes when you should be going like it don't make sense to me so just stuff like that but other than that it's cool out here. i like it it's a lot of work out here too it's easy to find a job as well so that's another thing that i like and it was weird because i follow these youtubers and they was and they live in orlando and they was always they were always saying they will always say how Orlando was boring and there's nothing to do out here. So I'm thinking like, oh shit, when I move out here, I'm be bored as hell. But it actually is a lot to do out here. And it's a lot of good people out here. So I don't know what they got going on, but I like it out here. I feel like I put on too much blush. No, I can't, I can't, I'm coming. Uh, so someone said tips for moving out and looking for a new apartment. So tips I can give you guys for moving out, like getting your first apartment, I'm assuming save up money, of course. Like I would say have enough for at least two or three months of rent and make sure you have a job, a stable job. Also um, when looking for apartments, I would say get a, get a notebook, a journal, anything like that. Write down a list of everything specifically that you want to look for in an apartment and look online. That's what I did mainly. Um, also what I did, I forgot, I called um, like Apartment Hunters. It's free. Um, they get paid somehow with the um, leasing people. Um, they work together and they get paid off of that. So you don't have to pay anything for Apartment Hunters. They basically do everything for you. If you don't want to go that route, you can always go online and look for yourself 
at apartments but when i was living in houston it was so many freaking apartments i don't know i just feel like it was easier getting an apartment hunter and they can do all that for me and when you talk to them they basically ask you what's your price range what specifically are you looking for do you have pets one bedroom two bedroom and they'll do all the work looking through apartments to find apartments that's perfectly fit for you what you tell them specifically that you're looking for and they'll give you a list and then you can just go to the place go to the apartments and look for yourself and see if you like how you look in person so that's what i did so basically i would just say write down a list of everything that you want in your apartment and have a budget also save up money like i said for at least two months of rent so that's the advice i can give y'all on tips on moving out i don't know why i just did this like i'm about to wear my lashes i'm tripping So somebody said tips on saving money. <clears throat> so I don't know, like me personally, I just always been good at saving money because I don't go nowhere. I don't know, like every time I get paid, I would just probably spend like a hundred dollars out of my check. And then the rest I would just save in my account. I would suggest you guys getting a savings account. That's something I need to do. I don't have one. Um, that was a plan I had for this year, but this year is a joke. So <laughs> that's dead. So yeah, I would say you, for you guys to get a savings account and I don't know, like when you get paid, just spend your money on something that you really need or at least just either put $20 up, like save it like that. If you're big on spending and you're not a good saver, at least just save $20 every check and add it up like that or whatever you want to do. But yeah, I'm just a good saver. I don't spend money like that. So I don't know. That's, it just works for me. Where's my lashes? I love these lashes. These are Kiss lashes. I got these from Ulta. Um, I threw the box away. I forgot specifically what kind they are. But on my last video that I did, I did show them to you guys. So you can go back on my last video I did getting ready and see what kind of lashes I had. Because it's in the video. My 2020 playlist video. I had the lashes showing. So you can go on that video and see exactly what kind of lashes these are. All right, someone asked me, what are actions women look for in a man? So basically what I was talking about earlier about actions, how I'm big on that. Um, actions, I can say that I look for. If you say you're gonna do something, nigga, you better do it because if you don't, your ass getting cut off. So, I mean, why even waste your energy to say you're gonna do something and you know you're not? Like, I just feel like you're playing with me. Like you, like you want me to cut you off. Like you think I'm, like I'm a simp or something like I don't play that I don't know just showing like you actually care about me like just going out your way to just be consistent with me and surprise me with things not even like gifts and stuff because I'm not really big on gifts it's the little things that matter to me so just a guy who you know just take the time to do little things for you that's the kind of actions I'm pretty sure any woman looks for in a man it's not even about gifts and designer and taking me out to eat and just stuff like that. We want the little things. And if you don't know what that is, then you don't need to be trying to date right now. You need to be trying to figure yourself out and figure out exactly what a woman wants because you're not mature enough yet, in my opinion. I shouldn't have to tell a man. He should already know. I need some more lashes, y'all. I've been wearing the same damn lashes since quarantine started. Ooh, I'm, I'm out of this. Now I gotta get some more. Let me do my, my lashes real quick. I do want to take the time to apologize to you guys because I know some of you guys do be looking forward to seeing me on YouTube and I've been in my A for a while and I really giving good content to you guys on my channel. Um, I do feel like since this whole quarantine situation happened, a lot of people don't really be on YouTube and plus TikTok is really popular right now and I do get more love on TikTok than I do on YouTube so that's why I really haven't been on here. So. I don't know, I just want to apologize to you guys for being MIA. Um, I will be more consistent. I will show as much love on YouTube as I do on TikTok. I'll try to do as much work for both. So, um, yeah. 
because lately y'all have not been showing me love on YouTube so I was like fuck it I'm about to just stick to TikTok so and by the way if you do have a TikTok follow me it's Karen to see I'll have it in a description as well so So now I'm done with my makeup so we can get into my hair now. Put some more olive oil on my scalp. I have bad dandruff. If you guys have bad dandruff and you have products that you use that work for you, please comment down below because child. I greased my scalp last night and my shit already dry. So another topic that you guys asked me to talk about was fake friends. So we can talk about that all day, okay? I don't know specifically what y'all want me to talk about. Maybe how to know if your friends are fake, maybe. I don't know, but we can get into that. So I feel like if you're confused to know if your friends are fake or not, if your friends be disrespecting you, talk to you any kind of way, like, you know, you ain't nobody, like, they can just, you know what I'm saying, like, disrespectful, you need to cut the motherfuckers off, because, baby, ain't nobody finna disrespect me. I'm grown as hell, and we ain't finna do that. If you feel like they always using you or only hit you up when they need something, that's not a friend, okay? If you feel like you can't, if you feel like you do more for them than what they do for you, like you'll go all out for them if they ask for help. But when you ask for something, they never there or they too busy, that's not a real friend. And I've had my experience of mostly fake friends, so I would know what a fake friend is. But, um, yeah. You'll know when you have a good friend, like somebody who's caring, someone who's there for you, like someone who doesn't make you feel less of a person or that you're not good enough. Like I said, who always invites you out, who doesn't make you feel left out or just not messy. Like, mm, I feel as well if you have a friend who's always talking about somebody, that's not somebody you want to be around because best believe they're talking about you too. So, mm. and if you have a business or something like that, and your friend never supports you but always supporting somebody that's a stranger who has a lot of followers or something like that always sharing them on a story or you know just always supporting a stranger but don't support you that ain't a friend and i had cut a lot of people off for that because i'm like okay bitch you showing these people on your story youtubers showing them love but you never like my shit never comment on my videos never support me you ain't no friend like mm -mm. You just here to be nosy. I don't like the way gel fill on my hair, so I stopped using it for a while, for a long time. And I was just like, well, let me just start using it again. And as you guys can see, my hair looks bomb. So I'm definitely going to start using gel again because it defines my curls more. I just don't like how it makes my hair feel, I don't know, dry and... Mm, I don't like the way gel feels on my hair, but it makes your hair pretty though, so another topic how long have you been single and why i've been single going on three years y'all um i don't know like my last relationship i just felt like it taught me a lot it taught me to know my worth because before my last relationship i really thought that all men cheat thought that all men were hoes so i was like well all men are like this so you know you might as well just settle down with one and then i met my ex and he showed me that there are men who are really act right for the woman he won't. And I haven't met a man yet who I felt like is better than what I experienced or at least close. So I just know my words basically. I'm not about to settle for any or anyone, anything or anyone. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it know your worth ladies don't settle just because you're lonely you're bored or whatever like that most women they like to most people in general they settle because they're lonely they're not used to being lonely like people who be jumping in and out, in and out of relationships that's so weird to me like i don't know that's i don't know that's some weird energy 
Like, why jump in out a relationship knowing you're gonna go through the same situation when you could just take the time and think about your last relationship. What went wrong? What you didn't like about it? What you did like about it? What to look for specifically in your next relationship? What do you need to work on on yourself? That's what I like to do. But I don't know. Some people, they just like to jump in and out of them. Get that floats your boats, I guess. Let me see what else y'all talking about on here. Somebody said talk about staying positive. So with staying positive, um, I'm not really someone for that either. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm a negative person, but like I said, I'm normal, I'm human. I guess manifesting really helped me with staying positive, always writing down the positive things that I want to happen into my life. It just makes me overlook the negative and more so focus on the positive. I guess that's what you can say. Maybe I should wear my hair like this today. Mm. And I would just say also who you surround yourself with, like make sure you surround yourself with positive people because there are people out there who are so negative and always down talking themselves who would drain you and make you feel negative because they feel negative. And you don't want to be around those type of people. Like I said, you want to be around people who are ambitious, who are go-getters, who are dream chasers, who have positive energy. And you'll know somebody who's about positive energy when you meet them. And you'll definitely know when somebody is nothing but negative energy as well. When you meet a person, you'll be able to tell. And you'll know, oh, this ain't somebody I need to be around. So, if you never manifested before, I would say that's good for positive energy. Praying. Um, reading. Studying. I mean, that's basically up to you. Everybody's different. Somebody said talk about your life goals. I'm the type of person who don't really like to talk about my goals because what if they don't have the energy? You guys know that and be like, damn, she, she can't even accomplish her goals. And more so just not speaking your dreams to people because they would have, you know, like I said, there's negative people out there who would speak negative, bring negative energy, make you lose focus. So... I'm more so the type of person to move in silence and, you know, surprise them with your goals when you achieve them, you know, so that's just the type of person I am. I like to keep stuff to myself because I did experience having people, friends who I would share my goals with and they'll be like, oh, that's some good goals. And next thing you know, oh, I decided I'm going to do this and do that. And you like, bitch, didn't I just tell you that? Like, that was the goals I told you I was going to do. And then now they're talking about it like they made it up. So, mm -mm. after that experience, I knew not to share my goals with people. So, but which I did do a vision board to share some of the goals that I did have for 2020. So, if you are interested, if you didn't see it, I will have that in the description below. Or you guys can just go on my channel and watch all my videos and find it and see it for yourself, you know? So, yeah. Somebody said I should do a story time about how I lost my virginity. I was thinking about that, but then I was like, I did a story time about my first heartbreak. So, I did a story time about my first heartbreak, which really went into detail on how I lost my virginity. So, I feel like if you guys want to know, you should go watch that video about my first heartbreak because I talked about it in that story time so it would be pointless for me to make a whole video about it when I already talked about it in another video so yeah toxic friendships I already talked about that so yeah basically I talked about everything y'all asked me yeah I guess I'm done now I'm having a freaking bad hair day because these products are all stuck in my hair I really think it's the gel that's doing it. Oh, I have a question for you guys. So, how do you guys feel about dating? Like, do you feel like dating you should only talk to one person? Or do you feel like dating is where you're open to talking to multiple people to see who you're like? And then you get more, you know, serious with one person out of all the people who you're dating. I feel like dating is when, like I said, you date multiple people. And then when you find one who you really like, then you'll cut all the others off and get more serious. So I was talking to this guy and he was telling me that um he feels like dating is not when you date around like court with different people you um specifically one by one get to know a person if you don't like them then move to the next one 
and I was like, no, and he ain't like my answer. I don't know. That's just how I feel. I feel like why waste my time on one person in the dating stage where I'm just courting, getting to know a person when I could be doing that with multiple people. And out of all those people, I would know who I would want to be serious with. And then I will cut those other people off and be serious with that one person. Like, you feel me? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe he just crazy like that. Like, that did give me crazy vibes when he was saying that. But I don't know. It's not like, you know, I'm a cheater or anything. Because we're not together. I mean, if I really like you, it would be no problem for me to cut out the other people who I'm just talking to, right? So, I don't know. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Yeah, I guess I'm done for this video. This is the best my hair is going to get today. So... And also, y'all comment down below and let me know what other videos y'all want to see me do while we're in quarantine because I have all the time. I'm bored as fuck. My life is boring like everybody else's. So just comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. And I got you. So thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Mwah.